do appreciate it. And for the people that haven't gotten it or on the fence of buying it, now it's time to buy it, guys. I'm going to hit, go ahead and do a, a half off promotion for the rest of the month. Give you 50% off the course. Um, for those who kind of on the fence or didn't have the money available to buy it, now hopefully it's going to be. What is up, Innovation family? Hope everybody's doing well. This is Brandon from Innovation Property Atlanta, back with another video. As always, guys, remember to like the video, subscribe to it, hit that notify button, and always please tell a friend about my station. People are interested in doing tur Turo, learning more about real estate and property management and all that good stuff. Um, today's video, guys, is going to be about me giving you updates on the fleet, what's going on, um, and, and mainly the 2016 blue Chevy Camaro uh, hardtop, the one that was uh, returned late, or I shouldn't say returned late, it wasn't going to be returned, but was actually in the process of being stolen, but thank God I was able to get it back in a good amount of time. So I did a video about two weeks ago on the 2016 blue hardtop Camaro, uh, the, just kind of give you guys a backdrop, the car was, wasn't was returned on time, it was about uh, maybe a week after the return date, I was able to, to I was able to get the car back. A person had rented the vehicle, uh, I think they did some type of identity theft, and the vehicle wound up being taken to Albany. I don't know from uh, that person's friend or whoever had the vehicle, but that vehicle was down in Albany, and they planned on not returning the vehicle, so that's why I call it stolen. Um, but thank God I was able to get it back based on you know my information and kind of my, my field work that I, I got, I got the car back. Now I did have damage on it, mostly the passenger side, Dirty on the in on the interior as far as uh, you know the regular weed and and having to clean it out and they also uh, tore the rear view mirror from the um, from the mirror on top of the glass so had to get that replaced uh, along with some body damage but good news is it's out the shop and it's ready to be back on the Turo platform so as always I'm gonna show you guys pictures and through the video I'll show you some before and after pictures so you guys can kind of get an idea of the damage. So people are asking me like, why are you so transparent? Why are you, you know, just try to keep it real with people when it comes to the Turo platform and all the do's and don'ts? Because I think it's important as a teacher, as a mentor, as a guide, especially when you know something or a topic that you're adverse in, it's good to kind of spread your knowledge to your to your people to help them out. Um, so I'm not getting anything from, from doing this in terms of like, I'm not getting monetized from telling you guys this information. It's more or less so to help you guys and just passing on this information and let you guys know that Turo, even though you may hear the word passive income, it's not really passive income. You got to put the work in still to get the cars up to par as far as, you know, the regular maintenance and service. And when they get in accidents and all that, you got to get them fixed. Um, so it's not passive. It takes time to drop cars off at body shops, dealerships, oil change places, tire places. So, um, you know, even whether you have one car or two cars or, or 50 cars, it doesn't matter. It's the same process. So it takes resources, time, energy, and a team to help you out. So thank God I was able to get the port, not the Porsche, but the Camaro back up and running. Runs good. Um, it's ready to go for this, you know, back on uh, the platform for this weekend to be rented out. Um, but again, guys, you know, I do this for you guys to be transparent and just to be uh, forefront about things that I go through on the Toro platform. So you guys can either try to avoid my mistakes or learn from my mistakes or try to enhance what I'm doing to make it better. So I'm um, just doing my part uh, from a you know hum humanity standpoint. So be, uh, check out the next video. Like I said, the blue Camaro's back in the fleet. All is well, fixed and all that good stuff. So if you guys have any questions or any feedback, remember to leave comments, like the video, all that good stuff. Look forward to hearing from you. I'm a real one, my day one. Try to speak up, can't say nothing. Try dig dirt, there ain't nothing. I make the money that saves up. 10 to 80, my savings. Take the top from the baseline.